right now. We're talking about what's trending on Twitter, and of course, we've been seeing lots of posts about March Madness, bracket busting, sure. all that kind of stuff. Stanford scored one of the weekend's biggest March Madness upsets by taking down Kansas and earning itself a trip to the Sweet 16. The Cardinal dashed the hopes of Kansas phenom Andrew Wiggins as well as Jayhawk supporters, but the world, well, you know what? That's probably not going to be what the world Why? remembers the game for. Why is it? Because late in the second half, CBS cameras found a tearful young Kansas fan to zoom in on, and all of those dreams slowly evaporated. You can see this kid is getting really sad watching his team. The hashtag crying Kansas fan picked up some momentum. The phrase was mentioned nearly 5,000 times on Twitter on Sunday. And that's tough. You know, we all know what that feels like. And it's hard when you see your team there and you just you want them to advance. And, right. and there's an upset. And you're sure. unfortunately on the losing side of that upset. I remember back in 1986, how old was I, 13? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. about right. Yeah. Uh, you were born in 1973 yes, on September you. 9th. Th thank you. In Arizona. So what's my sign? Yes, we're in Arizona. Uh, I don't Tucson. Know. I was going to say Tucson. Oh. Yes, which is why I'm a University of Arizona fan. The Wildcats. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know. I just feel bad because, like, I always had that private moment. I know we were at a game, but it's like, even back in the day when this was done, you know, it would be on TV once and that's it. But now on Twitter, it's like over and over. Oh, let's why All you do is cry. It's like, no, yeah, it's just I for a few minutes. I feel bad for him. And then, that's you know, what I mean. It's, it's, it's feel bad. You feel badly for, for him that, you know, it's sad. And right. guess what? A lot of people felt like this over the weekend. He is not alone. A lot of SU fans felt this way as well. I'm sure there were some tears in Buffalo. Right. I think Brandon was actually seriously well, crying on Saturday night. I, he had a tough, he had a really tough time. I mean, I'm saying people have a tough time I know. when their team gets out of the yes. tournament. He said he had a really rough weekend after that. Well, don't forget you can follow us on Twitter. We're also on Facebook.